Hey, I'm Joe Kurtenbach with American Rifleman, and this week for the NRA Gun of the Week, we're looking at the Glock 19X. Now, this has been one of the most talked about introductions of the last few years, and that's because this was Glock's entry into the Army's MHS, or Modular Handgun System program. And that program, of course, was a solicitation um, by the Army to find a replacement for the M9, which of course was the Breda 92, that had been in service with our armed forces since the mid-1980s. So it was a big deal to find a replacement service sidearm, and Glock entered the 19X, or at least a variation of it. Now even though the 19X didn't end up winning the MHS program, it did have a lot of cool enhancements that were kind of Gen 5 enhancements and also neat for civilian shooters to have an opportunity to buy a military style or a military solicitation version of the Glock. In fact, the only thing missing here is the manual safety that the Army required. So a running joke for a long time with Glock is that you can have your Glock in any color as long as it's black. But that, of course, changes with the 19X, which is in a coyote tan color. Um, this configuration, again, requested by the Army in their MHS program and carried out here. And they did it with a NPVD finish on the slide and, of course, a coyote tan polymer mix uh, for the frame. Speaking of the frame, we have kind of the Gen 5 configuration here, or at least a modified Gen 5 configuration. And what I mean by that is you have kind of the blunted pyramid texturing pattern, you have no finger grooves, which from Gen 4 to Gen 5 were removed on Glocks, and you have the replaceable back straps. Um, in this case, you get four replaceable back straps, two mediums, two larges, and one of each size has a beaver tail. And of course, if you take off all the back straps, you still have a textured uh, frame there, and that is considered the size small grip. Now what's interesting about the 19X is that it uses that four inch barrel or approximately four inch barrel and that kind of compact slide, but it pairs it with a full size grip frame. So if you were going to compare it to uh, other commercial models, this would be like having a Glock 19 slide assembly paired with a Glock 17 full size frame. And of course, this gun is in nine millimeter. So what that means for you is that you get to shoot from full size magazines. And not only that, for the 19X Glock includes one 17 round full size magazine, but also two extended 19 round magazines. So this is again, kind of that, that stemming from the MHS program requirements, but offered now in a civilian package. Other Gen 5 features that we're gonna see on the 19X is the ambidextrous slide stops. We also have kind of that, that carry melt treated frame up here. So to ease reholstering in the draw, they've kind of beveled the front edges near the muzzle. Uh, as well, we have the enhanced polygonal rifling in the barrel. Um, whether this is exactly the same as the Gen 5 barrels, it's my guess that it is, but it may be some kind of mix that was on the MHS gun, some kind of uh, in between the Gen 4, the Gen 5, and the MHS uh, characteristics of the barrel. But in any case, it's still a polygonal rifling pattern. It's just a little bit enhanced, uh, which, as I said, is what's being offered on the Gen 5 guns anyway. Now, this example does have steel night sights, which has always been, or at least has recently been, an option from Glock. Models are also, I'm sure, going to be available with the standard plastic sights, which has the kind of basket rear and the single dot front sight. Where we vary from the Gen 5 guns is down here at the magazine well. Of course, those Gen 5 guns have kind of the, the cutout on the flared frame and no lanyard loop, which on this gun, there is no cutout and there is a lanyard loop. So for those who want to dummy cord your gun to you or, you know, it's, it's a requirement of those service pistols. And so it's here on the civilian 19X. So this has been a very widely talked about introduction from Glock. There's a lot of excitement around it and it's easy to see why. Not only do you have the uh, military appearance here and the military features, but you also have a, a, a 19 size slide assembly and a 17 size frame. So just like people who love M1911s love that commander size gun with a little bit more compact barrel, uh, but a full size grip, now too you have that in a Glock firearm. So for more on the 19X, of course you can go to us.glock.com.